If you have children, I'm sure you've noticed that some of the most intense family conflicts occur on Sunday morning, in the car, on the way to church. But why is that? One moment everyone is screaming, and the next moment everyone is walking hand in hand into the sanctuary, all smiles, like the cover of a Hallmark greeting card. Often the conflicts that bring us the most pain and suffering are with the people closest to us. Those disagreements are the most challenging to face because we know each other so well and we use emotional triggers to cause pain and hold our ground out of pride. But do you ever feel provoked by your enemies? Maybe tempted to lash out against those closest to you? Well, I pray this meditation from Matthew chapter 5 will help you navigate those times of distress when hope feels lost in resolving family conflict, that those nearest will come even closer as we all come closer to God. So to begin your time of meditation, settle into this place of divine retreat, surrender your pride, and concede to his healing. Notice your eyes beginning to move from open through a soft gaze and out of closed. And notice your breathing. Start to become more mindful of the healing love from the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Continue in this time of mindfulness by listening and then responding to this passage from Hebrews chapter 12. And as I lead us, respond, Lord God, help me be a maker of peace. May the Lord bless the hearing and reading of his word. Continually pursue peace with everyone and the sanctification without which no one will ever see the Lord. Lord God, help me be a maker of peace. See to it that no one falls short of God's grace. Lord God, help me be a maker of peace. See to it that root of resentment springs up and causes trouble, and by it many are defiled. Lord God, Help me be a maker of peace. Spend a few moments now imagining that peace. Encounter calm and experience the tranquility that God is offering. Do you feel the tension between earthly conflict and divine tranquility? Family disputes versus heavenly peace? Well, take a moment to face that conflict. Offer your disputes to God now. He knows. Notice how they make you feel. How does your body respond? The emotions may be powerful and frightening. Notice them, confess them, and then be embraced by your healing God. Don't fight against the emotions, but neither give them any weight. I realize they can be powerful. The disagreements may be ancient. But for now, let the feelings come. Note them for a moment and release them as they drift by.
Now turn your focus away from the distance caused by disagreements and center on the healing peace in the presence of God. Center on the truth, Lord God, help me be a maker of peace. Abide now in this peace and be centered by the peace and the shalom of God. Center two on your breathing. Bring attention to your breath. Take one deep breath in through your nose and then slowly exhale it through your mouth. Do that several times. Each quick inhale brings healing. Each slow exhale releases distress as you inhale and exhale meditate on the healing peace and shalom of God relax here for another moment breathing and contemplating God's healing peace don't be surprised if your mind drifts to past disagreements just celebrate the reminder to center back on your breathing and silently whisper Lord God help me be a maker of peace now in continued silent contemplation reflect on the first of three scripture readings from Matthew chapter 5 verse 9 from the Christian Standard Bible listen to this well-known passage from the Sermon on the Mount with new fresh ears imagine Matthew giving you his personal reflection my dear friend and follower of the way I realize it is easy to attack when provoked by your enemies and it is so tempting to lash out in defense when attacked by those closest to you but remember that blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called sons of God what do you feel after hearing this passage well listen once more for how your heart is moved by this holy scripture blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called sons of God what did you feel even deeper the second time may the Holy Spirit use that thought to guide you into deeper contemplation for this next minute listen once more 
but consider it now from a wider passage as you listen to the Beatitudes from the Sermon on the Mount in the English Standard Version. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. What became more clear after listening? Well, let that be your continuing contemplation for another minute longer. In this third reading, don't feel the need to react to the passage. Just let it settle in a way that surpasses thoughts. Listen once again from the New American Standard Bible. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What do you most enjoy about God? And where in your life do you long for his peace? Well, this time is now yours as a gift of prayer. He is available to you, so take a minute now, pause if you need more time, and appeal to him now in your way, in your words. Using your divine imagination and creativity for a moment, see yourself on the hillside on the shore of the Sea of Galilee as Jesus is teaching this sermon. Watch as he turns to you, your eyes locked as he speaks to you, to your soul. My child, are you hopeless, grieving, humbled, hungry for righteousness? showing mercy? Are you pure in heart, making peace, harassed or insulted? Well, be full of joy and be glad, because you, my child, have a great reward in heaven. 
He knows everything you are feeling, every emotion, every pain. But for this next minute, turn from family conflict and approach Jesus. Jesus, the healer of the broken. Keep your eyes on Jesus as he brings his shalom to you and your family. Rest here in closing, centered and mindful of God's peace, celebrating the joy, the gladness, and the reward for you in heaven and surrendering your own motives to allow God to bring healing to your family conflicts in such a way that only He can receive the glory. And as you experience His divine peace, be aware of someone you may meet along the way searching for restoration in their own family. How might God use you to bring his peace to another? Consider that as I offer you this prayer of benediction to remember not to be provoked by your enemies or lash out in defense when attacked by those closest to you. But remember that blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. May you know the healing of Christ, the guidance of the Holy Spirit, and encounter the peace of God now and always. And so when you're ready, whether it's sunrise or nightfall, or countless moments in between, whisper, Lord God, help me be a maker of peace, mindful of the healing offered by the Holy Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 